the championship's last chance. Claret and Blue, East Lancashire has decamped to North London as only Burnley now stand between the FA Cup and a big boy monopoly. As anticipated, Arsenal rest some of their biggest boys pre-Rome, but Eduardo, who returned from long-term injury to star against Cardiff in the last round, is back from a briefer absence now to skipper here. Theo Walcott is back on the bench. For Burnley, this is the 12th cup tie of their most thrilling season for years, the eighth against Premier League opponents, the second against Arsenal. Without the suspended Michael Duff and the ineligible Rhys Williams, Graham Alexander reverts to right full-back. It is a particularly delicious day for Kevin McDonald, whose goals at Turf Moor knocked Arsenal out of the League Cup. So we're playing catch-up here. This for a place in the quarter-finals, at least a mention in the semi-final draw. This from uh, Arsenal's perspective, possibly to some extent for a bit of revenge. And for Burnley's, just further to feed the dream. Arsene Wenger, four times an FA Cup winner as manager of uh, Arsenal. And he's never lost an FA Cup tie to lower league opponents. Alexander. Clearance hit the referee, came back to Song, and now Diaby again, and uh, Arsenal can spring forward at pace as they love to do. Vela, faced by Calvinez, whose tackle was true, so that uh, McDonald can counter for Burnley with Eagles one way, Calvinez the other, Patterson wide here, and Arsenal slightly stretched. Patterson, McDonald could tackle Song. Toying with McCann, finding Vela. Moved on for Arshavin. Vela's through the middle. And Jensen is the sturdy presence. So, has so often underpinned Burnley's excellent campaign. Bui. Eduardo. A lovely ball from Arshavin. And here's a boy. What a tackle from Caldwell. What a really outstanding challenge from the Burnley skipper. Just immaculately timed. And at a point when his team seemed nastily vulnerable. Enough of the ball, some of Abue too. His job was to clear out the danger. And clear it out, he assuredly did. Nicely <laughs> distributed by uh, Fabianski. Abue skipping away from McCann and feeding Vela, who has kept it from Carlisle. That's Sanya, and Jensen was uh, backpedalling in slightly panicky fashion. Good smooth movement from uh, Abue. Splendid shielding of the ball by the uh, young Mexican Vela. And then. Uh, an oddly stabbed cross-come shot from uh, Bakary Sanya, which momentarily discomforted Burnley's keeper. Song for Sanya. Eduardo, oh, nicely worked. Arshavin. Corner off the block in good Jonsson. They're beginning to purr here, Arsenal. Arshavin is the sort of player who can help them purr. That's indeed, is Carlos Vela. Vela over the corner. Firm header out by Caldwell, hit by Gibbs. Wasn't an unreasonable try. 
from the uh, young fullback. And Coyle has gone beyond the reasonable with Burnley this year. It is his and their 48th game of the season. There is no busier club in English football. Arshavin. Oh, beautiful take by Vela. Carlos Vela for Arsenal. He is such a talent. A quite sumptuous goal from Carlos Vela. Beautiful, beautiful player. Touch and delicacy. How does he do that? One touch to shift it away from the defender, one touch to move it on. And as Brian Jensen comes to try and close him down, one wonderfully delicate touch to lift it over him and score. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. One nil Arsenal. So Burnley had it to do. And here is Song for Arsenal, who'd... Uh, like to get this done early now if they can. Burnley are no one's easy beats. There's a few in the Premier League who found that out this year, not least Arsenal themselves. Just a feather like finish from Carlos Vela, which uh, draws applause from the gentleman who selected him. Coyle working hard to keep Burnley up. In the longer term, he's working hard to send Burnley up. It really has turned into uh, a thoroughly filthy afternoon here. With significant rainfall swirled around inside this ball of a stadium. A lot of people moving back in the stands. Cold, wet, disagreeable. That's going to play OK. Here's Song. Over the top for Baylor. And didn't Clark Carlisle do well? Again, the welcoming touch of the Mexican was textbook. Tight and to the point. So Clark Carlisle, last ditch and committed. Vela's take. He's come out to Arshavin. And now Vela. And now Gibbs. And Jensen clung on. Diaby. Somehow negotiating extraordinary midfield traffic. Diaby took some shaking off that. Eventually he was dispossessed. And then Eagles was uh, tripped by Gibbs. Burnley quickly on with it. McCann. Blake. Nicely done, Calvarez. And that was Vela tackling back. At the expense of a corner. Late with it, Fabianski came but didn't get it. Jura ran into further trouble, Song headed clear. Arshavin couldn't complete the clearance, but Caldwell's overhead landed safely in the arms of the goalkeeper, who for a moment here felt anything but safe. 
The only real moment of panic in the uh, Arsenal ranks so far. And in the end, Kavianski got lucky. Gibbs. Oh, lovely from Eduardo. And Jensen was at full stretch to deny a boy. There are little bits and pieces in the Arsenal side that uh, Burnley just can't live with. Touch and movement like that. Jensen's fingertips denied another picture-perfect goal for Arsenal. Marsh of in deep. Okay, Jensen has come and made it his again. Hoisted forward by Jensen. Forward by Churu. Gibbs. Eduardo. Taken off it by Good Jonsson. Come on, Alexander. Alexander's free kick. Patterson looking to get goal side of Fury. No such luck. Well, some of Arsenal's football in the first half here has been truly eye catching. Their goal certainly was scored silkily by Carlos Vela after 25 minutes. The performance that has surrounded it has uh, often been nearly as good. Arsenal lead by a goal to nil, and the second half follows shortly. Welcome back to the Emirates. The ground being visited by Burnley Football Club for the first time ever. Indeed, it's uh, Burnley's first visit to Arsenal at all since December 1975 when they lost to a John Radford goal at Highbury. They trailed to a Carlos Vela goal in the uh, fifth round of the FA Cup here and they have been at full stretch defensively for the majority of the first half. Clark Carlisle and Stephen Caldwell at centre half having to excel for the Clarence. Foul by uh, Song on Good Jonsson. Won't be long now for Theo. After five months, another five or ten minutes won't harm him. The song, song for Diaby. Stolen away by McDonald. Marshavin preferred to keep it in play. And set it back for Gibbs. And Song. And Eduardo! What a finish! What a finish! My word, the goals have decorated this game. Two absolute beauties. Two cup ties for Eduardo. And the captain of the day has scored three goals. Beautifully coaxed in by Song, but how about that? Audacity itself. Not to say talent. How dare you be that good? And Arsenal more or less have it wrapped up. Board by Song. Oh, again by Eduardo, who's playing for fun now. And you've been absent for as long as he has, you're entitled to enjoy it. Calvinez. And still. Really good run, and Patterson. They may not get many chances. They must profit when they come. Just couldn't curl it as he wished. Gibbs, Song, Abue. Very good claim by Jensen. 
Vela would have scored. Coming round behind the big Danish goalkeeper here. Splendid delivery by Abue and uh, decisive keeping from the Ranians. Right forward by Fabianski. It's Vela. And Sanya. And Arshavin. Really brought for his aerial prowess. Elliot. Thompson. Calvanez. Jonas got there ahead of McCann. Fabianski didn't get much purchase on his clearance, but it's bounced for Song. And Percy uh, pirouetted, Sanya arrived, and Wado arrived and headed right across the face. Seemed as though time was suspended for a moment here. Eduardo had so much of it to measure his moment. But he got the measurement mildly wrong. And the chance had gone. Smashed forward by Gallas. Carlisle was beneath it. upon by Gibbs. Boy, <laughs> lovely. Gibbs. If only he'd been prepared to shoot right-footed. Might have been uh, the crowning moment of his young career so far. Here's Blake and Elliot. And still, there wasn't really anything to uh, worry the Arsenal goalkeeper. Over the top by McDonald. Only as uh, close to penetrating as they've been in the second half. Oh, this just about makes Arsenal's perfect day. Two beautiful goals. And on top of all that, once Abu Diaby has given way to uh, Aaron Ramsey, Leo's back. Eduardo has had uh, another heroic cup return. And on in his stead, after five months away, their boy. It's been a wonderful cup season for uh, Burnley. Going into today's game, they played seven against uh, Premier League opponents. Won four, drawn two, lost one. So you transformed that form against uh, Premier League teams into a complete Premier League season. They'd be on course for 76 points which is what took Liverpool to fourth place last year. That's how good they've been. Well, they've been second best here, and Arshavin has found Walcott, who's snuffed out by Jensen. That really would have been the perfect day. I think it's all the Arsenal fans still crave from their team this afternoon is a Theo Walcott goal. Sanya. Walcott. Van Persie! Not this time. Terrific persistence from uh, Theo Walcott in the first instance. And then a beautifully deft use of the ball. Juru and Arshavin and Theo Walcott. Oh, flags up, flags up. 
which makes for a terribly anticlimactic moment. And Percy found the net. Walcott wonders. Now then, when the ball is played, tight, very, very tight. Through by Gas. Here is so oh, it's lovely. A boy, fabulous. My word, they're good. When they're good, they're very, very good. And they've been smashing today. Emmanuel Abue with the third goal. Oh, what a time. It's been an immaculate Arsenal afternoon. Song's part of it was prize. Abue's finish was certain. And so indeed is Arsenal's progress now in the FA Cup. He loves it when it works, and it has certainly worked today. Blake. A bit of space here for McDonald. In towards Patterson. And uh, it bashed off Gallas and behind. out swinger good header very good header from the skipper which uh, clipped a bit of wood on the way over got up commandingly high did Caldwell just caught the wrong side of the crossbar in a proud performance from him and from Burnley in general Gallas came to McCann. And here's Blake. Burnley just looking for a memory here. Ward by Elliott. McCann's gone over. And Chris Foy isn't prepared to allow them their memory. Oh, what did Chris Foy see here? Juru and Gallas, either side of uh, McCann. There was contact. Tell you what, Burley might have had a case there. It would have been purely academic. Sanyo charging down. Arshavin still working at it. Caldwell got out of a corner. Burley supporters uh, loving their moments of possession right at the end. And that is the end. And Arsenal have their revenge. Out of the League Cup at Turf Moor but threw at Burnley's expense to an FA Cup quarter-final now against Hull. Burnley's wonderful cup season is over, and what a contribution they have made to the flavour of this campaign. But the cream is rising to the top in the FA Cup, and Arsenal was certainly at their creamy best today, scoring three terrific goals. Eduardo back, Walcott back. They couldn't have gone better. Winners over the last championship survivors here by three goals to nil. Arsenal. Injury, Eduardo is back. And Arsenal look good. 3-0 winners against Burnley. Through to a quarter-final. Let's hear from those involved in that one, starting with Arsene Wenger. I believe we were serious when it was difficult and uh, we were at it brilliant when uh, they dropped their level. And uh, of all, I believe we did the, the job in a conscientious and... Uh, Good way. The quality of Arsenal's goals were there for everyone to see. Uh, I thought we started the game really well and I felt comfortable at 0-0. And uh, a mistake from, from ourselves has led to the, uh, the open goal for, for Arsenal. But I mean, you've got to admire the quality. I mean, it was a, a sublime finish. Uh, finish. And at 1-0, we still felt in the game. And the second goal was even better. I mean, so, I mean, all credit to them. That's why they're at Arsenal Football Club, because they are top class players. There's no doubt about that. And I think they showed that today. Uh, but I thought we acquitted ourselves well. And they still carried the fight to the very end. And there's a lot to be pleased about. It is important to give them competition and uh, to know that uh, even if they are not completely there yet, 
that you have resources always uh, uh, on the bench when needed to come on and, uh, and score goals or be dangerous. I think we'll be disappointed by the result, but I think there's a lot of positives to be taken from the match. I thought our supporters were unbelievable. We brought over 5,000, they sang their heart out, they gave the players their backing. And I'm hoping now the players, are, we've got 10 championship games, it should be 10 cup finals, to reward those loyal fans that came and, and supported them today. I thought they were magnificent. The first two uh, were exceptional goals. Uh, I like as well the, the third one because it's a good uh, combination, uh, the way we like to play. And overall, uh, I believe we scored three good goals. We could have scored a few more, but uh, what is important for us as well, uh, going away now in the Champions League, is that they didn't concede. Arsenal getting better at a good mm. time. And just like Chelsea yesterday, uh, they looked at a championship team, mm. sized them up and had too much class. Yeah, just had too much quality in the important areas of the pitch, generally up front. Um, but, the, the quality of the finishing oh. is of the very highest order. Yeah. Uh, from young men who are still learning the trade, coming back to, to fitness. Mm. Um, let, let's take a look at the first one, Carlos Vela, a young Mexican who we've generally only, only really seen it in cup competitions this year, more calling cup and the odd FA Cup. But from the moment the ball gets to him here, one thing in his mind, commit defenders, attack, and then from here on in, it's all about he concentrates on the football. Look, he gets tugged here, he gets pulled back here, but he never looks up knows exactly what he wants to do and just lifts it over the goalkeeper. Doesn't matter what the goalkeeper's doing, what angle he's got, what position he's got, it gets taken out by the chip and, well, if you think this is a fluke, just cast your mind back to September, Carling Cup, Sheffield United, remember this? Mm. Touch again, similar position, Paddy Kenny, doesn't know whether to have a shower or a shave, he <laughs> ends up in the back of the net. But again, look at this again, the, the touch, the poise, it's a little bit... Maradona-esque in the way, the balance, and he yeah. just sits to keep it down on, on the seat of his pants. And it just augurs well that you've got kids like that who can come in and have that kind of quality at this level of football. Speaking of fantastic left-footed mm. players, anything you can do, Carlos, I might be able to do better. Eduardo, well, what a second. It was unbelievable, and uh, there's so much to appreciate. The ball from Song, when he picks this up here, is exquisite because he plays it at the right time. He's onside, Eduardo times the run to perfection. And it's all about the contact, Matt. I mean, you have to see this to believe it. It catches him on around the ankle, the, just the top of the boot. And it's nothing to do with power. He just guides the ball. It's technique. We get a great view here. See him top of the foot, just there. You see there? He just guides it. And it's all about confidence and having the technique. That's the ankle he broke. Well, I was to say it's a fitting that, you know, the ankle that was shattered in that accident has now got, you know, still got that, that finesse and touch. It was just a fantastic finish. Yeah, lovely to see him back, and he'll have plenty to offer between now and the end of the season, hopefully. And the third goal, for, after two sublime yeah. individual strikes, was a, a team combination goal. It as, was as a very Arsenal-like goal, and you can see that Wenger's obviously proud of the way that it... I mean, it's it fired in, and, it, and it's two guys involved here, Gallus with the ball, first ball through, a Boué finishes, who have been... Uh, cri had critics at the Emirates mm. this year, you know, had the Boo Boys on their side, but some finish and, you know, they're just getting the rhythm right, Arsenal coming together at the right time of the season, getting players back fit and, you know, generally Arsenal have started seasons well and faded towards the end. Maybe this year they're booking the trend, maybe they're just timing the, se the you know, their form at the right end of the season. And another positive on the day, the return of... Theo Walcott. Yeah, well, as, as you say, it, it was all about positives. They, they're always going to get him on the pitch and hopefully give him 20, 25, 30 minutes. Eduardo goes off, Walcott comes on, not what defenders want to see because what this fella brings is, is outstanding pace. A little bit rusty in the finishing department, gets a ball from Arshavin, just hits a goalkeeper with that. But these are the kind of instances, these are the kind of things that Walcott can do. These defenders in his way because he just uh, steps on the gas, really. The, the pace is outstanding and Goals for Arsenal, goals for England, you know, good sign for England to have him back fit. And as you say, they're getting players fit at the right time of the season. And Burnley will hope to go again in the Championship mm. and are well placed, but a bit short of gas, they're just running out It's the difficult, time. I think something like 48th game for, for a small squad. Owen Coyle's got a big job on now, he's a, he's a manager with a growing reputation, but he, he's really got to lift his players and give it one last push to get at least in the playoffs in the Championship. Play good stuff, we wish them well.